up, kids and jam friends? Today's message comes from John chapter 4, verses 46 through 54. It says, Once more he visited Cana in Galilee, where he had turned the water into wine. And there was a certain royal official whose son lay sick at Capernaum. When this man heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went to him and begged him to come and heal his son, who was close to death. Unless you people see signs and wonders, Jesus told him, you will never believe. The royal official said, Sir, come down before my child dies. Go, Jesus replied, your son will live. The man took Jesus at his word and departed. While he was still on the way, his servants met him with the news that his boy was living. When he inquired as to the time when his son got better, they said to him, Yesterday at one in the afternoon, the fever left him. Then the father realized that this was the exact time at which Jesus had said to him, Your son will live. So he and his whole household believed. This was the second sign Jesus performed after coming from Judea to Galilee. This little boy was very sick for a long time. He had a fever that wouldn't leave him. His father was so worried. He was an important man. The Bible calls him a nobleman or an official. But he could do nothing, even with all his power, to make his son better. He loved his son and must have been very worried that his son might die. But this nobleman heard about a man named Jesus. Lots of people were talking about Jesus and the amazing things he was doing. They remembered how Jesus turned water into wine. The nobleman left his home in Capernaum and began walking to Cana to find Jesus. He had to walk about 15 miles, but the father was willing to walk that far if it meant he could find a way to heal his son. When the man got to Cana, he found Jesus and said, Please come and heal my son. He is about to die. Jesus looked at the man and said, Unless you people see signs and wonders, you will never believe. Jesus said this because some people witnessed the miracles that Jesus was doing and they did start to believe on Jesus and believe that he is God the Son. But other people didn't be, still didn't believe on Jesus. They saw the amazing things, but they just wanted to see the amazing miracles. They were still kind of doubting. The nobleman knew Jesus was the last hope for his son to get better and not die. So he begged again, Sir, please come before my son dies. Jesus looked at the sad father and said, Go back home. Your son will live. Jesus had not been to the house to see the boy. He just spoke the words that the boy would be well. Jesus knew all about the boy and his sickness even without seeing him. Jesus is omniscient, meaning he is all-knowing. And Jesus is omnipotent. He is all-powerful. If he wanted to, he could heal the boy even from a town 15 miles away. Jesus can give life when no one else can. Believe God's promises. Would the boy's father trust Jesus' words? Or would he stay and keep asking Jesus to come? Well, the father did believe. How relieved he must have been. His son would not die. Jesus was showing who he is. God the Son, the almighty powerful God. He loves and cares for people. The nobleman believed Jesus, so he hurried home, trusting that Jesus could heal his son by just speaking the words. As the man got closer to his home, his servants ran out to meet him. Guess what they said? Your son lives! The father was so excited. He asked, what time did my son start to get better? The servant said, yesterday about the seventh hour, which is about 1 p.m. in the afternoon, the fever left him. This was the exact time that the man had been talking to Jesus. How amazing! The Bible says that the man and everyone in this house believed on Jesus. Jesus did this miracle to show He is God. He has a power over sin and death. God has not promised to heal everyone, but He has promised to be with you and help you no matter what you are going through. And best of all, He came to earth to bring life, everlasting life for those who would believe on Him.